In this video, I'm going to do a quick review of Query Hunter. This is available via the link below or go to swiy.co forward slash qh. There is an affiliate link, so thank you if you do purchase. Now, this is available either for free with cut down options or the pro version, which is £39, about $50. And that is the version that I've purchased because you can use it on unlimited sites and it's got some really good additional features. So basically what this does is you link it to your search console data. That data is just between your site and Google search console. It's not shared by the app developer or anyone else in between, no third parties, such as Ahrefs or SEMrush or whatever. I tell us some people do get a bit paranoid about that and so do I. And um, Yes, yeah, so you just you follow the tutorial. It looks a bit fiddly, but it's straightforward to follow the tutorial. You basically go to your developer's console, you create a new project, uh, create a service account, and then you just link it up together and you copy copy and paste some data over. And then uh, once you have all that done, then you can go onto your your posts that are actually ranking, and you can see um, what they're ranking for, what they're getting clicks for, what the impressions are for the posts and the, the queries which is the key point of this and the beauty of the pro version is that you can quickly add a line of text a whole paragraph or more to satisfy the query and that, that should and it's proven to give you better rankings so i'll show you a demo in a second but yeah like i said the free version is uh, cut down but the pro version is 39 pounds about 50 dollars so from the description, it's the quickest way to multiply your traffic. You can refine your top performing pages and you can uh, add content to serve your underserved queries. Uh, let me see. So this won't work on a fresh site with no ranking and no keywords. The point is you have to have some activity in Search Console. So first your domain has to be in Search Console. Then you have to have a little bit of ranking. And then from there you can work your way up. Um, and also it's got an option to be search stuff on page 2 and page 3 and it will tell you how to boost up to the first page. Let me see, so you've got some, you've got some a nice little table here, so it shows you high impressions but low clicks, low CTR. It shows you the position, it shows you the number of times that this phrase or these keywords are mentioned. Uh, it's got a nice option here for question queries which is always good. So a question that your content can serve and you can put it into your site quickly. Question, query is not mentioned on your page at all, which is very important. Export the data and so on. Okay, so let me show you the... Oh, I'll probably have to blur some of this, but this is the back end of the plugin. So it's basically this top section here, the API key, the JSON string, is from... Uh, is from the Google console so you just copy and paste the, the 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 text into this first box the property type a lot of people got tripped up on this so in your search console let me just show you here let me just blur some of this one second oh no that's fine so in your in your properties here you see I've got here it says domain properties that I've added it using the DNS record but before the main way I used to and most people used to add it was to upload a small text file or whatever, HTML file, and then verify it that way. So in your settings box here, you choose either web property or prefix. Then you add your license key for this uh, plugin, and then you add your open AI license key, and you choose English or whichever language you want. You press save. Uh, let me show you an example. So this is a post that's doing uh, reasonably well. So you just click on your post, go all the way to the bottom, and you've got this section here now called Query Hunter. So it's showing ten entries now. So the 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 key the top query that's got the most impressions is uh, breast. F I can't even read breast fruit juice for health. I'm not mentioning it at all in the content. Got zero clicks, zero CTR, and I'm positioned forty seven point six. Um, so what you could do with the pro version, click on sentence, it uses the open AI key to quickly generate a sentence that you can put in your content. Now I've noticed this a few times, see what it says in English. 
because that must be part of the prompt otherwise I did this obviously you go into your content you go into your generated content and you edit it but the, the main purpose is to quickly generate this into a sentence or you can do a whole paragraph Let's give it a second it's very quick it's usually very quick okay there we go so it's a whole paragraph so to make it look a bit more natural a bit of flow you can add that somewhere onto your page and then you've got a snippet so this will try and get you the featured snippet so i'm guessing in the back it's a prompt designed to uh, give you the best outcome so again it says in english so you can click that bit but it's a nice little snippet that google may pick up may not and then you've got another option here called lazy genie so if you click on this one what it will do um i'm not sure if it's the first i think it's the first 10 they said the first 10 entries it will put it into a whole block paragraph make it make sense use as many as possible and you just plonk that on the page for being really lazy it looks unnatural but black hat method you know so it, it used all these keywords they put into this paragraph here so i can put that on the page and i will satisfy a lot of the all if not some if not all of these queries here and then you can export these for analysis and so on you can refresh it so let me see so I mentioned things. let me start these columns so the top queries by uh, impressions okay mentions in content so I mentioned juice 178 times juices 171 times I think this article is completely AI generated oranges eight times zero clicks don't forget this blog site is just a demo site using completely AI content I think pretty much I don't think I've ever done anything uh, fresh fruit mentioned seven times one impression let's do it by impression so best fruit juice for health got 166 impressions but I don't mention it in my content so if I do mention it if I either create a paragraph or even add it the sentence technically I'm satisfying the query so I should get, get a ranking boost is orange juice good for you I've not mentioned it but like 91 impressions oh actually let me show you the other things this is all the queries here so this is that's all query this is no mention so this query is I, that I do not mention at all in my content so that's a nice little filter on the top there these are the queries with low CTR uh, why isn't it showing me one I don't know but anyway then I've got page two queries so I'm on page two if I add them I can get to page one hopefully and this is the good one questions these questions are getting me impressions, but I don't mention it. I don't answer the question anyway. So I can put one little FAQ record at the bottom of the page, export all of these, and just put them all in there, answer them all with a line, and that's it, job done. So, yeah, so that's my quick review. Now, it's absolutely an absolute bargain for £39 on unlimited sites. I've already installed it on three. Uh, one brand new site, obviously with no content and with no ranking, it wasn't going to show me anything. But this site is a public site anyway, so I thought I'll install it here and see how it goes. And it's given me a lot of useful data. You can of course try the free version, but with this version, just add your OpenAI key. And for a couple of cents a day, you can quickly generate some content around these queries. And what I like is that one of the sites I installed it on is maybe about, I'd say probably 10 years old. I've got some really old content on there, but it's still getting good at impressions and clicks. So now I've installed it on there, I can go in there, and instead of trawling through search content, I'll just quickly go to the bottom of the post, use uh, OpenAI, and just quickly generate a sentence or a paragraph or a snippet of text, and put it in the content, and it becomes refreshed, and hopefully it'll get more clicks, more impressions, and so on. So yeah, I hope you find this useful. There is a link for this down below or go to swiy.co forward slash qh. And yeah, for that sort of money, it's a bargain. It's such a useful tool. And I think I saw it mentioned in another video or it was a TikTok video. Someone mentioned it, but I couldn't find the video again. But I remember the name. So yeah, it works on any WordPress website. And yeah, just follow the tutorial to install it. If you need any help, just give me, put a message down below and I'll give you a hand. Um, cause it can be a bit confusing if you've not been to the Google Develop Console before. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.